Hi, my name is Schwinn, and this is Kai, and we'll be demonstrating our device, the Birdie Buddy, for you today. Hi, in order to use the device, the first thing we need to do is attach the device to our client's wheelchair. We'll attach it to the left side, right on his base bar right here, next to the letter S. And we'll just bring the clamp around like this, and go. So we'll bring the clamp around the S of the client's left base bar of his wheelchair. And then we'll just tighten this knob to secure the clamp in place. As you can see, we have a curved surface here and an L bracket here. These are there to match the client's contours of his base bar. And when we're done tightening this, we'll want to insert the adjustable arm into the drilled hole right here. And we've added a lock and key mechanism so that the arm will always sit in the right orientation. And once it's there, it's locked nice and in place. And now it's ready for the client to use. After inserting the adjustable arm, the device is now in the storage position. As you can see, it sits flush against the wheelchair arm and does not impede daily movement. If the client or user wants to use the device, what he or she does is she brings the device into the loading position. If you would, please. He or she will bring the arm around, lift it up, and then move it in front of his or her lap. Next, they will either load the camera or binoculars. So if you would choose one, please. So our user has selected the, the camera to use. As you can see, it sits halfway up along the bar. And now if, Kai, you could bring it up to your viewing position, please. As you can see, the camera sits about 8 inches from the user's face so that they can use the LCD. In addition, you have tilt, pan, and rotation of the camera, so you can capture anything that is off to the side or at an angle. And now if we could switch out for the binoculars, please, by bringing the device back into the loading position. As you can see, the loading position also helps the user because it's at his or her lap, and it's much more convenient to load there and ergonomic to load there than if you were to load, load in the viewing position. The binoculars, as you can see, sit off to the edge of the vertical arm viewing bar. And if we could bring it into the viewing position, you'll see the reason is because the eyepiece of the binocular needs to sit right at the user's eyes. And so now the user can look right through the binoculars. They can rotate and again tilt up and down and to catch things that are not in the direct point of sight. And now, if when we're done bird watching or taking our photographs, we can store the device back again by first bringing it back into the loading position and removing the binoculars. And next, we can move the device back into the storage position where it sits flush against the arm. Binoculars.